Joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Kia Clark. She is the CEO at the New York Liberty. And we also have Megan Graper. She is the co-head of Global Debt Capital Markets at Barclays. Kia, Megan, it's fantastic to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Thank you for So having very me. exciting morning. You rang the opening bell to celebrate a multi-year partnership between Barclays and the New York Liberty. So Kia, tell me about this new multi-year partnership. Yeah, we're incredibly excited to welcome Barclays as our official banking partner. And I think the crux of the partnership that fans will see and viewers will see on television is that their logo will be on our jerseys. Um, but it's much more than that. Um, as a marquee partner of our team, as the naming rights partner of the building that we play in, um, this is really a robust um, year-long, um, season-long, really definitive way for us to reach out to the community, to touch fans, and to really amplify um, what it is that these amazing athletes do on the court each and every day. Megan, why is this partnership the right investment, significant investment for Barclays? Mm -hmm. Well, as you say, it's one of the largest injections of sponsorship capital in the history of, of New York Liberty. Um, and it's a real testament to Kia and the leadership we've seen demonstrated by both Kia and the team in a way that really perfectly aligns with Barclays' aspirations as it relates to diversity. But more importantly, I think it underscores our mutual commitment um, to gender equity and advancing gender equity both on and off the court. Akia, how will this investment, this financial support, impact the team in the coming seasons? Yeah, I think Megan said it best. Um, the community who is, is who's going to win here. Um, what we are able to do when we lock arms together is impact more people with higher frequency with a uh, intentionality that's focused on women. So whether that's exposing women to life skills, opportunities, career opportunities, youth programming, all of those things sort of in a nutshell are things that the Liberty would do in and of itself. But when we're able to do it with a partner like Barclays, we're able to really extend in our scope and, and make a larger impact. Megan, now Barclays isn't new to supporting women's sports. Tell me, how does this fit into your broader strategy? Well, you know, in talking to Kia and talking to the team, I think it became very clear early on um, that this was going to be a natural extension and evolution of Barclays' footprint, particularly as it relates to supporting women's sports. And, you know, we're a firm that's had a multi-decade history of supporting women athletes, um, supporting youth athletes, and, and frankly, supporting disadvantaged athletes as well. Um, and so, you know, I think if you look at the relationships we have in the UK, there's a track record of us investing in the two largest or the two top leagues in terms of UK soccer um, for women's professional sports. And we're looking to mirror that here in New York um, because we know the value of that uh, uh, collegiate sort of partnership in terms of the impact it has on our community, on our colleagues and, and on our clients. Now, the partnership also includes dedicated funding for the Rebound program, which tackles youth unemployment through basketball. So that's also a big part of this partnership. Tell me more about your vision for this initiative and its importance, Megan. Yeah, I mean, we're lucky to be here at the New York Stock Exchange, but New York itself is not just the, the center of financial uh, excellence, it's also our home, you know, both for Barclays and for Liberty. And so one of the initiatives we're most excited about and really the commitment at the core of this relationship is about giving back to the community and so you know Good Shepherd um, services the rebound program those programs are actually um, intentionally designed to try to help prepare uh, youth for their future um, and to get them work ready and so the the intention behind some of these initiatives is really to think about giving back to the community um, but also to tackle uh, on uh, un and under employment um, for the youth in New York City. And so we're incredibly excited about that. It builds on an existing relationship and it's, it's one we're ready to execute on. Mm -hmm. Now, Kia, the New York Liberty, Liberty finished the 2023 season with its all-time best record and reached the WNBA finals for the first time in 21 years. Very exciting. So now tell me, how does this partnership with Barclays build on that momentum? Yeah, you know, just like a team would uh, pack it up after a loss in the finals and regroup and sort of realign with how they're going to win it in the following season, on the business side, we take it with the same uh, fervor. We're looking to build on um, the incredible growth in women's sports right now. Uh, women's sports are in a growth cycle here in New York. 
across the United States and even internationally. Um, we saw double the amount of partnership support last season. Um, we've seen attendance records um, skyrocket. We've seen viewership um, metrics go up tremendously across all of the women's sports, particularly in the WNBA and, and with the New York Liberty, you know, it's no different. We want to build on that. Um, we are still in pursuit of that elusive championship. Um, thankfully, we get another try come this May. Um, but really, it's about fine tuning and really, you know, days like today are really a testament to um, the things that we'll do new and different, the ways that we'll innovate. And we're super excited to, you know, be beginning this journey with Barclays as one of those tactics that will bring us to the next level. Congratulations to you both on this amazing partnership. And go Liberty. Thank you. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. go Liberty. Yeah. Here we go.